Right. I'm gonna go grab a coffee, and then I'll be ready to start. Oh. Oh my god, my mic's so ghetto. Oh my god. Uh, hello? Hi. Ooh. Hello? Uh, do I need to turn the volume down on this? Probably a little bit, eh? Microphone's probably alright. The urgent emails. Probably not. Because it's...
Probably not because I can't remember what I was talking. Oh, I'm tired. Uh, where are my glasses? One second. Right. I think, I think we're good. Oh no, we're not good. My head. What's happened to my old head? That's where all my star sets and ideas are at the top of it. All my hopes and my dreams. Uh, let us zoom out very slightly. And go up a little bit more. Look how... Uh, Look how refined I look with my glasses on, eh? Bam. Bit, bit of a, you can see a wonky head. That's just as I am. Hello. Hi. Got my coffee. Haven't drunk it yet. Don't know why you need to know it, but you, you, you're getting to know it. Uh, oh. So. I went on holiday. For a week. Uh, potentially last week. Yeah, last week. Oh my god. God, it feels so long ago. Okay. Yeah, so I went on holiday for like a week last week. Right, I think it was last week. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, and Zinai and a load of other mates, we were um, in an Airbnb, this big barn conversion for a whole week. It's It was Zin's 40th birthday. Um, it was my 39th. Uh, next year, I'm probably going to do the same for my 40th. And um, yeah, it was good. I loaded board games. Played some retro PC games. Wish we'd played some more PC games, to be honest. Um, I, I love board games, and I'm sort of driven to keep on making people play board games. And we ate loads of delicious foods. Um, it was good. It was like eight or nine of us. Good laugh. Um, I look rested. No, so I've been absolutely exhausted for the last two years. Okay? from I constantly need to nap during the days, and I was... I've been going to the doctor and that sort of stuff. I've got like a little bit of IBS and stuff, but it's not like terrible or anything. But it's like, oh my, I'm dying I'm not, because I'm anxious anyway. I'm always, I've got, I've got every disease and I'm dying because of it. Yeah. And um, they can't detect it because it's mild, but they get bad real quick or something like that. You know, like a bit of a madness there. Um, tell you why I'm tired because I don't wear my glasses. That's pretty much it. I very rarely, I, I'm long sighted, a little bit long sighted, which means I've got pretty good eyesight as long as I'm not trying to look directly point blank into a computer screen and read, which most of my day is done reading because I read about Star Citizen stuff. I read about um, whatever else, um, whatever else I do for business. Uh, it's all it's all reading and okay, and, and often it's watching videos as well, but it's relatively close and uh, being long sighted. Uh, and uh, not wearing your glasses when you're trying to read, bad idea. Um, so I've got these slightly, slightly zoomy, slightly yellowed, um, fractionally prescription uh, glasses because it's like it's very minor. But I don't get tired now. My eyes feel better. Also, actually, I say they feel better. The, you can see like slightly red splotches under my arms. I don't have a weird disease. I don't think I do. Um, I've got slight eczema at the moment. Don't know why. Maybe it could be bed bugs or something like that. Uh, and I was like, oh, I've got I've got scabby, horrible eyes. Uh, antihistamine. I started curing that immediately. Just um, better. Because otherwise it's like, ah. I, those, those are the things that are wrong with my body. Some of which I have cured. Uh, but yeah, been away for a week. Um, sort of. Uh, ghetto experience with Star Citizen videos. Apologies for that. But, you know, come to know and love them. Um, I'm a moderately low effort content creator. I do put effort in for some things like when we do a um, a, a major deep dive or uh, an interview or um, a, a proper a how to play sort of thing. Start here Star Citizen guides. And we do occasionally do some, some high effort stuff, but a lot of it is just Star Citizen news and Star Citizen playing and um, that's re relatively low effort. Something else that's happened over the last couple of weeks. Zin hasn't been working for me. Well, she's been on holiday. She's still working for me. She's been on holiday. She wanted a two-week holiday for her birthday. And I was like, oh. Zin's in hospital with appendicitis. She went into hospital yesterday with appendicitis. 
Um, so I'm going to give her a holiday back for the days that she's missing of a holiday. A little bit annoying. She'll be fine. Um, it's just, you know, really annoying for her. She probably wants to be... Uh, oh, I've still got a black screen here. I'm a dum-dum. Here we go. Let's, no. Let's do that. It was just it was just me and a black screen. It was space. You were seeing space. Yeah, that's most of what Star Citizen is, is space. Ah. Yeah, so... Um, hopefully she'll be entirely fine. Well, she, she'll be entirely fine, but... um. It's just annoying and boring for her, right? Especially on her holiday. And uh, hopefully she feels a little better afterwards, like immediately. And you can you can be out like twenty four hours after the op if they even need to operate. Um, but it's like NHS, absolutely fantastic in the UK for um, meaning you don't have to pay or um, it's destroying your life having any, any form of illness. But there are waiting times for things. Maybe it's something we'll we'll get private medical on on board gamer or something in the future. That's probably not a bad idea. I hope everyone else is doing well. Uh, Zin will be back in the near future. Hopefully she'll be around on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Monday's a bank holiday still. Today's a bank holiday. Monday's a bank holiday. It's Easter weekend. Um, if Zin is a uh, uh, well enough, we will do a podcast on Tuesday. Uh, and uh, I'll probably edit. You're going to see my very ghetto editing style. You probably have over the last couple of weeks. Where I've just gone. Nah, 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 nah. That'll do for B-roll. Uh, you had yours removed in Manchester while visiting. Um, okay. But you, you you can you back on your feet. Like potentially same day. Right. But obviously they'll, they'll want to monitor you for a day. Um, do you expect Alpha 3.23 to drop before these Xenothrust quests end at the end of Invictus? Yes. So I'm expecting 3.23. 23 release in april i'm expecting the xeno threat i'm uh, sorry i'm expecting these overdrive initiative quests to go on into may that's what um i believe cig have said well bear that in mind something i want to show so if you want to ask a question during the live stream question in brackets allows me to pick it out from what is hopefully a crowd of questions um but i want to show you this which you may have seen multiple times already Oh, look, there is a little kestrel boy, a little pterodactyl, pelican pterodactyl. Oh, look, there is a hyena dog. These are a little bit derpy, but I love them. Um, I love them. They're great. However, however, they're in 3.23. They're, they're, they're going in 3.23. They were in the Evocati build. You can shoot them. You can fight them. There's missions for them. Um, so... An another uh, reveal for 3.23 features. They've really... There's so much going on in 3.23. It's absolutely ridiculous. Will it all make it into um, the patch? No. It, there's going to be stuff that slips off. Um, like there was with the um, item recovery stuff. Um, and the spawning vehicles in the freight elevator. Although you can now spawn vehicles on the uh, ship elevator which is in your hangars which is also uh sort of a new secret feature i say secret hidden feature um, they're not mentioned on the roadmap explicitly and cig have gone Ooh, look at this um so are those uh, birds as annoying as small as in arc um let's wait until they're a little bit more developed um so in 3.23 live they should be interesting um, I have not been able to experience actually fighting them um, properly in the Evocati build. I couldn't find them. Um, so yeah, Seven Suns are there. They're called Copiums or whatever they're, whatever they're called. They're very similar to Copium. Um, yes, I... I was like, cool. Creatures coming in. Are we going to see the Boreal Stalker? Are we going to see... Well, sad moments, but that's layer three. Uh, are we going to see the Star Wilds and Space Cows, uh, Pyro Crab, all that sort of jazz in the near future? And the answer is some of it, yeah. Um, a lot of that stuff they want to be in our hands within a year. Um, within this year. Sort of... Uh, bear that in mind. Right, thank you very much for all the kind words. That's genuinely appreciated. Thank you for my mods being here as well. Um, the mods, they don't get told why I'm streaming at all. I just, you know, just go... Boop. See what happens. See what happens. 
I'm so ghetto. I'm so sorry. Like, uh, oh, I've just remembered that I have not got in contact with the guy I'm supposed to be doing the book spotlight with for ages. Just because. I, so the other thing that's happening in my life is I'm buying a house at the moment, um, and it's uh, the offer's been accepted. I'm waiting for the contracts to exchange. The, the contracts are exchanged. I'm going to be a lot more calm about it because um, they can basically either of us can cancel the sale and per slash purchase of the house at any time up until the contracts are exchanged and then you're legally obliged to sell and buy um so that's near exchange as far as i'm aware be like within within the next month and it's because it's easter at the moment um there's not much to be heard from my conveyance solicitors and, and all that sort of jazz but uh, i've got a nice house it's sort of set up for um it's going to be set up for streaming in a room and content creation. Uh, my main living room is going to be done for board games and uh, catch co-op stuff. It's, it's going to be a probably little um, modern gamer house. I don't like I don't like loads of bright lights and and, and silly stuff like that and neon and uh, loud music or anything. I want it to be nice and calm, like a a cross between a, a Zen garden and a little gaming utopia. That's sort of what I want with my house so there's got three floors which is quite nice and um, one of the floors i'll do for, for like 3d printing and uh, and bought a like board game stock and stuff like that because I, I i run uh, a company where i do 3d printing now but also um with kickstarters and um limited release board games i'll go i'm, I'm anti scalp scalping so it's basically when it's something is on limited limited time release i'll go is that likely to be a really um, popular in the future if yes i'll buy loads that's like things like the kickstarter version of cthulhu death my die uh whatever the new one is but it's not out yet but loads of that um things like that I'm a, re I'm a retailer for them um i only try and specialize in some things and the same with the, like um uh Warhammer stuff and and all that sort of jazz that's the sort of things i'm interested in Oh, I love the... I, I genuinely appreciate... T-posing space cows are the best. Uh, that's 100% perfect. Robert Johnston, thank you so much for giving a load of gifted memberships. I didn't see that um, because I was uh, rambling to myself. Thank you so much. Genuinely appreciate it. Robert Johnston, a man that pays me to tell me to affect myself. Um, and Sharks Bite, um, I need to uh, like retweet and promote some of your your um, smithery stuff. I need to also check on your knife because I have not used it in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, and before I was putting mineral oil on it um, and using it relatively regularly, but um, it has been unused for a little while. I have not played Helldivers yet. I'm looking forward to Helldivers too. Um, so when Zin, we've just sort of, we just finished playing through uh, Pal World, um, and then when Zin is back, we're going to be playing Sons of the Forest. When we've done the Sons of the Forest, then it'll be Hell Divers 2. We might do both at the same time. Um, I like to have a game where I can go, we've done our work for the day. I shouldn't really say, Zin, you have the rest of the day off. But they go, let's play a game. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happened. You've been a member for 69 months, Robert Johnston. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that, oh my, that's the best. That is the best news. Uh, only, only someone that has been a member for, for 20 months could possibly beat you. Uh, oh, that's legendary. <laughs> I don't know why that's tickled me so much. That's because I'm a child, I suppose. Uh, so, you can discuss leaks to some degree. Here, um, I'm always willing to, to discuss them. I don't um, actively go after them or cover them as much in uh, my videos. It depends on the sort of leak it is. Um, obviously, we can talk about Eva Cardi stuff now a load, and uh, there are birds and dogs in the game. Uh, there's things people have been talking about with the Mirai Pulse, um, as potentially the new hover bike. I'm still getting emails from a state agent that. Knows I bought a house with them. 
but they're probably not in the office, right? Uh, if you could drag one item from another game into Star Citizen for funsies, not necessary to be OP, what would it be? A, an item from another game. Hmm. Item from another game. Oh, portal gun. 100% a portal gun. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'd want more than a portal gun. Uh, as long as it's got unlimited range, <laughs> just go boop, on someone's ship. Um, and then, oh my god, that would be the best. Uh, hey, look, I'm almost as old as Robert Johnson, lol. Uh, JBad. 58 months as well, oh my god. I, it feels weird because it doesn't feel like I've been streaming that long. Um, just specifically streaming that long, right? Been creating content for 10 years. Oh, I'm very sorry for everyone's loss that's been with me for that long. Almost 10 years. I think it's actually 10 years yet. And at the end of this year, I think it'll be 10 years. Uh, and not for Star Citizen either. But I think it's 9 years I've been creating Star Citizen. Since 2015, Star Citizen content. Well, that's only very kind, generally. Um, I am once again here to ask if the Apollo Triage... Uh, where is the Apollo Triage? So, lots of ships and vehicles being worked on this year. Well, more than they had showed at the end of CitizenCon, that, that those 10 ships from the, the, the ship um, um, panel, um, ships and vehicles they showed. So it's going to be more than that. Um, the RSI Apollo has got a good chance of potentially even getting in this year because there's a big focus on RSI ships and RSI um, assets which are um, shareable between those ships. When they add creatures to Star Citizen, how fast will someone try and catch one and bring it to Landers in? I think that will happen pretty quick. I <laughs> I think people are trying it already. Um, and I think they'll work pretty well because the way the mesh works, you will be able to effectively steal them, pick them up and put them in your ship. Now, can they do damage to your ship? That's a question, isn't it? Uh, okay, 4 I am here. I'm off to bed. Keep the noise down. Good night. Thank you so much, Robert Johnston, mate. Genuinely appreciate you. And um, thank you very much for the donation. So sort of the earlier, um, the first quarter of the year is, is a lot quieter for Star Citizen. Um, uh, well, content for me in general. And because of the sort of push of 3.23 being a hype around it, it's going to be more when it releases in April. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's quite um, m money. Thanks for the money. I appreciate it. Why do you have Chris on your shoulder over stream? He's making sure I don't break NDAs. So, just help. It'd be, it'd be like me taking off my left ear. That's my right ear. It, to you, it might be my left. It's important. It's an important part of me now. Will I be able to buy an ore processing unit to increase value of resources? So, obviously, there are ships that can process ore. Um, will there be modular um things that you can buy for certain ships almost certainly for some some ships will there be a freestanding ore processing unit that you can basically put in any ship in like a cargo section maybe uh, heard a salty had a salty take on the star map from salty mike not sure i've heard your take on it do you have an opinion having used it so it's not ready yet i mean it is uh, it is like a slightly prettier version of the star map we already have in game. There were loads of bugs with it in Evocati. Uh, it was fiddly to use. Um, it was it was not not ready. So I started using it, going oh. And because when I was playing in Evocati as well, uh, the mission markers weren't showing. It was just a really annoying, clunky thing to use still. Um, so I do believe we're going to have what we saw at CitizenCon. Hopefully, a bit better than that for the live build of 3.23. Um, it's possible that they'll go, it needs more time in the oven. Um, surprisingly, mini-maps are working a lot better than the star map is. 
Sam. Yeah, it's, it's obviously incredibly important. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't a great experience using the, using the new minimap, um, and stuff like the water as well. The water, uh, it is not optimized properly and looks looks peculiar when you get close to it. It does not look super pretty. At range, it looks pretty good, and when you get close to it, it doesn't look great. Uh, but see, Bacardi build for a reason. Like this, a load of this stuff is like, oh yeah, we need to do this or this or this or this, uh, and it looks load better or okay, yeah, this needs time in the oven or looks great on these PCs for some reason or, or dev PCs, but if you haven't got a supercomputer, it looks terrible. Um, travel the map. Thank you very much for the donation. Will we be getting a tour of the new Board Gamer HQ? Once I've moved, yes. You'll at least see uh, the areas that are relevant to content at the very least. I've been told specifically by, by content creators not to show too much of your house so that people can't work out where you are. Not that I'm that worried about that. I don't think I have that many um, crazy fans. I don't cover anything too controversial. If you don't like Star Citizen, that is totally fair. You don't have to love it. I like it. We can like different games. That's not controversial take, right? Um, but uh, I don't think I'm big enough to... But, you know, but still... Uh, not going to give like my address out fully or anything other than I'm going to be living probably near Leeds or Manchester. Yeah. So much easier to get to uh, Big Bar Citizens, organize some and get to the CIG offices and stuff like that for tours. Hopefully they'll still like me. Oh. Well, thank you so much for that travel map. Genuinely appreciate it. Um, yeah, so, I suppose, yeah, I can, I can show off. I will have more space to be able to do 3D printing and painting of my 40k armies and stuff like that. Um, because there's a load of stuff. I also want to do duxification of board games. I've printed out a load of, if you've seen Unfathomable, which is a reskin of the Battlestar Galactica, um, board game. Um, I've got miniatures for all of that that I've printed out and, and I've half painted, um, and things like that. And a load of projects that I'm like... This will be done as soon as I move. Not as soon as. Um. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for uh, those donations. Genuinely appreciate it. Yes, I, I love I'm loving people. Uh, I, I love the fact that people are enjoying Helldivers 2. Um, I enjoyed Magicka and Helldivers 1. And obviously it's a very different game. But in the Helldivers universe. Um. Got a good amount of um, sort of dark comedy, right? Will Fauna stand on chairs too? I don't believe so. I don't think they have sit animations. Uh, maybe we can just escape them by being on chairs, though. It's going to be interesting to see how we can glitch the AI, right? Uh, can we get a whole pack of um, uh, the hyenas and take them to uh, a landing zone and release them? The artist previously known as Twerk17. That's, that's that's how we referred to Salty Mike. I, I'm really good friends with him. He's he's uh, one of my favourite um, assets and content creators. Other people don't need to love him in the same way that I do. Uh, I like his takes. Um, well, I like the fact that he is open with his takes. And that's cool. They rub you the wrong way. No worries. You don't have to enjoy it. Um, I will occasionally appear with him on on podcasts and things like that when I when I see them. And I, I, I love the boy. He he helped me out when I was really super depressed. So um, I'm always going to have a load of love for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty chill with people's opinions and stuff. You don't have to love the game. You don't have to hate it. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to be pro a particular feature or you can sort of um, have critique of stuff and you might not like Star Citizen's monetization model or the length of time that it's, uh, the project's been doing its thing. Uh, one of my uh, relatively good mates um, who hadn't seen for a while, I was chatting to him the other day, he has a ridiculous amount of money in Star Citizen. He's like, at the moment, I'm a bit worried because I'm just finding everything a bit meh. At the moment, I'm not really inspired by it. Um, I've got the giant hundreds of thousands of dollars of ships and um, or at least tens of thousands of dollars of ships. Um, sort of, and I was like, eh, you might get back into the project a bit later. Like, you're you, 
just suffering from fatigue you want you want some stuff to actually play now that's fully developed and fully done play some other games how divers 2 is pretty cool um so i think that's fine the star citizen is is gonna give a load of people fatigue right because it is a long-term development project a lot of people want a fully playable game and were expecting that many years ago was my riding them mentioned the cows um not as far as i'm aware no riding of well will we have rideable animals in the future uh, that is not something that's been discussed, I don't think. Uh, why do they know if the Cyclone RC is worse than a golf cart now? They've done some weird stuff with the, the, the physics. So, they need proper physics for the vehicles and weight to them. Um, and they've sort of half done it for a lot of the stuff and not done the numbers properly. So, a lot of stuff is just performing weird. And it's like the, what it was going on here. I'm not a massive fan of the, the hover vehicles in the game at the moment. They, they feel weird to fly. Um, I know this is a boring question, but any sense from your Ibukadi work how long before 3.23? They said they want it released alive in April. Um, I'd say we'll probably have... You might have Wave 1 PTU end of next week. Um, I, for, I, I, was, I forgot it was like a holiday weekend this weekend. No new news on medical Ursa stuff. Would you use a tractor beam to launch space cows at ships? I mean, why not, eh? Yeah, so the I, some of the ideas is that you are able to harvest these animals. They've got medicinal properties or whatever, right? They're, they're, they're valuable in some way. Or they might be infesting an area and you might have to clear them out because they're, they're pests. You see the new predator creatures? I, I have now. Um... Yeah, so su super happy with the... Uh... Them actually putting creatures in 3.23 and it's a big surprise right um but, well i mean they, they've been teasing it for a while but it was i thought it was gonna be more of a tease and go they're coming soon um is there any more info on 3.23 cargo hauling missions no so they've been quite um quite about them i suspect we'll see a dedicated star citizen uh inside star citizen on them soon really looking forward to cargo hauling because there's a load of updates in 3.23 with the with the um, freight elevators and the new way that um, hangers work and all that sort of jazz and that really expands out the cargo experience and that with cargo hauling missions oh loading and unloading and costs and times associated with that as well uh, how do you feel about the strange juxtaposition of realistic and non-realistic design choices so um it's because they want something that is gamified uh, i'm sort of okay with that that's what you want to do right you want stuff to be sometimes hyper realism um or at least look it um, you want stuff to be gamified so people can play it. And you want some stuff to be um, potentially more simmy, but not fiddly. But that's what they're trying to do with Star Citizen. They are trying to balance that. And there is a bit of a juxtaposition there. You, you are correct. But um, uh, I think they're getting there. Um, I think Squadron 42 allowed them to go, right, this is the balance we want for, for the game. This is the sort of arcade versus gamification versus sim elements. Uh, and they're trying to push that to the position universe now. Uh, and the position universe does have slightly different needs, but a lot of the core um, stuff is is the same. It just has more, and it has more. I mean, that's, I think that's fair. And that affects the the less a bit as well. Uh. Well, Star Citizen ever reach mission structure similar to Sandman Demo in 20, uh, 2016? Yeah. At the moment, the missions are very sort of procedure generated, right? Um, but you could e they could easily do a mission similar to the Sandworm stuff without the Sandworm um, already, I'd say. Um, uh, you you'll get that. They, they, they will 100% get that. Um, and I think they're relatively close to being that. But yes, you're right. The, the missions are pretty basic and underwhelming at the moment. Um, they are trying to get in all of the core features and then they'll be able to build 
the actual missions when they have the they'll be near to being feature complete soon in the not too distant future will be feature complete or at least they're pushing towards that that's why they're pushing towards star citizen 1, 1. 1.0 they then need to put up the content for things like the missions and that sort of stuff and they can do that to a significantly high degree once they're closer to it at least that's my my opinion on it uh, what do you think of the idea of CIG allowing approved content made by players to be integrated into the game, similar to what they do with Warframe? Potentially like the idea. And some of the stuff they're doing with the, like, the banners and stuff they asked for um, recently, I think they're going to be integrated into game. But um, it, certainly stuff inspires them at the very least. Uh, I like that idea. It depends on what content. Hello, hello. Again, thank you very much for the kind words. I do appreciate it. Space cows, space cheese, yes, they've got loads of um, milk sacks. Oh dear. Uh, do you think we'll see an increase in player count per lobby in 3.23? Maybe. So we've got the replication layer um, and potentially some network updates there. The server meshing tests they've been doing, um, which are, I think, like wave one or wave two PTU um, in, the, in the tech preview, they had around 800 players. Um, they've got multiple servers, I think six servers connected to a single star system. They can have multiple star systems connected together, stand on pyro, controlled by, um, each controlled by multiple servers, I believe. I'm not sure if they've actually tested that specifically. They've definitely tested um, Stanton as a server, pyro as a server, and them both connected. Um, but I'm not sure if 3.23 is going to get any additional player and increase. I think that's more of a 4.0 thing, but we'll see. Oh, thanks, Jaybird, for the uh, update on the buyback tokens. Uh, so the Q2 one is April um, 8th, uh, your uh, your buyback tokens. That's good to know. Yeah, so little by little, the planets and everything's feeling more populated, more alive, and some extra animals, or some a actual First proper animals, great. I mean, we've had things that are almost animals, like the, the rock bugs and the grubs. Um, there's a load of other... So, in April, there's a load of other sponsorships I'm going to be looking at as well, beyond what I already do. I, I love I love NordVPN. Um... I'm going to stick with them for a long time until either I uh, don't think it's a good product or I stop using them for some reason or or something. Yeah, but at the moment, love NordVPN. It's a useful functional thing that I use that I think other people potentially should use. That's why there's a link below. Um, game Glass. I need to be promoting Game Glass a bit more. Um, let me show you my Game Glass link because there is a Game Glass sale on at the moment. I was talking to the Game Glass guys the other day, and they went, we're, we're, we're doing a big lifetime, you can buy a lifetime license, it's sort of on sale at the moment, it's limited time, and there's a load of integration for Star Citizen at the moment, and um, it, it's good. Like, okay, cool, yeah, I'll, um, I don't talk much about Game Glass, but I've always, like, very lightly supported them, I've always had their links in my videos. Uh, Game Glass, board game, uh, let's go to the Game Glass stuff, I think it does. Um, so, Give you a little boom. Okay. Oh no, no, we lost something. Uh... Oh well. Uh... Hmm. Oh well, that's annoying. My uh. You just use. You can probably just use code board gamer. That'd be fine. Probably a code, right? Something like that. I'll work it out. I'll work. I'll work it out after stream. I'll, I'll sort out my my game glass stuff. Um. Actually, I'll, I'll message them now and go. I'm dumb. Uh. I'm a dum-dum. Where are they? Where's Game Glass in my... 
list of there you are there you are uh, hey i am a dumb dumb That is that I thought that was my link, but it doesn't seem to work. Hopefully, that hasn't ruined their lives. Uh, Uh, what else we got? I did. I, I, I should check things better. It's I blame Zin for not being here. It's her fault. No, it's not her fault. And what else have we got here? How much sway does Eva Carney have towards the final product? Um. So their feedback was stress testing and for getting stuff. Uh, balanced, refined, and um, things working is invaluable. Uh, so, some feedback is obviously taken, however, uh, often with Eva Carty stuff, as long as it's not universally hated by Eva Carty or something, or largely hated by Eva Carty, it will make its way into the game and then it will evolve based on a larger pool of feedback. Um, it, it sort of depends on the thing. So, sometimes quite a lot of influence hugely influential in, in getting a patch out into like first wave PTU as well. The predators are threats. They they fight you, they attack you, you shoot them. Is this the year of Jax McCleary who's turning from Pyro? So, interesting, eh? Because I think this year is going to be very focused uh, at CitizenCon on Squadron 42 sort of release announcements and uh, probably, um, I'm thinking big actors and stuff like that turning up, right? Um, I, I would put money on big actors from Squadron 42 being at CitizenCon and a... Um, Squadron 42, Episode 1, release date at CitizenCon being talked about. Um, that sort of stuff. At the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, however, yes, we could see, um, again, something big with, like, Jax returning because um, they have the Pyro system. They, they might have some, um, some huge ships, some of which, and there might be some stuff that turns up, like the Polaris might turn up in-game. So very exciting this year for Star Citizen. It's always exciting to a degree with Star Citizen, but a lot of stuff is becoming more realised now, right? I don't think they should use the word sim. Um, so, they, they, I mean, they can use the word sim, but Star Citizen is certainly not a sim, right? Um, anymore. It's, it's hugely gamified. Um, it might have been um, inspired by sim stuff, but they, they've gamified it They've arcadified it. They've made it a lot more um, a modern, playable, streamlined game compared to a, a, a gritty sim. I appreciate all the kind words. Thanks so much. Uh, my son has work experience in July and would like to see if CIG take uh, work experience people on. I've sent several emails to a recruit but never received a reply. Uh, do you have any contacts to ask? Uh, I can ask my mate if that's something they do. And I can ask if there's a better contact than just the um, Robert Space Industry, uh, the Cloud Imperium Games uh, website contact. So Cloud Imperium Games, there's jobs listings there. That's where I would have directed my, my staff to. Um, I can ask someone to see if it's something they, they do, even. Uh, Tony, message me on Discord or something like that so I have a reference to that so I go, oh, and I remember to do it. Uh, the system requirements for Squadron 42 were updated last month, but they didn't change much. Do you think that it'll be enough? They're asking for as low as uh, 4 gigs of VRAM. Uh, they'll have a minimum. They'll have a minimum that it will technically work on. Um, recommended will be a bit above that. And um, I do think that 
obviously a good modern PC is going to run it at 4K, uh, a good frame rate like it's intended. Um, it is going to be a pretty cutting edge game when it's released. It's gonna, but it will be a lot more optimized than it currently is, right? Squadron 42 also needs to actually go on sale again. Not on sale at the moment. What else have we got? Oh, you alright, Dan, mate? How you doing, buddy? Like experience is a thing. It's kind of reserved for family and... Uh, as if we opened it up to a wider group, we'd have every school contacting us. Gotcha. They might have a, a wider program in the future. Hope you're doing well, Dan, mate. Me too. Um, I'm not going to I series this weekend. I forgot I series this weekend as well. Um, I I need time off. Time off from holidays to recover with some work. Um, weirdly, but um, I'll probably be I series next time. Hopefully, try and get some CIG lot to come down to I series again for some drinks and some games and the expo. I'm hoping they um, improve uh, I series a bit. I, uh, I've got nostalgia for I series. Um, even at just a like five plus years ago, it was really really good, and the expo was pretty good. And it sort of started to go off something I didn't enjoy as much. The expos weren't as good, and then we had obviously had COVID, um, and they sort of haven't recovered since then. Is AI going to have a big impact on server FPS? Depends on the, how they implement it and, and that sort of stuff, right? Um, server FPS has a big impact on AI. Right. So, some stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm just, just going to show this again, uh, just because, to me, this is... I mean, this is just so cool. Creatures in 3.23. There's proper f f attackable, fightable creatures. Missions to go and fight them or clear them out or harvest their delicious horns. Kestrel versus Hyena. Who will win? The old tale of Kestrel versus Hyena. Um, 3.23. Loads of features. Got creatures in now as well. It's got the, the hang ships coming out of hangars. Coming out of the, the floor in hangars. Um, loads of little extra features. What are, what are people thinking of the, the Hornet Mark II? I, I quite like it. I'm treating it as an entirely different hull now. Um, I was I was thinking about this the other day. And it's like oh, I'll treat it as a different hull, and um, we'll get balanced. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I like the fact that I can just grab the Hornet Mark II and then rent a nose for it in Arena Commander, rent the ball turret, just took a load of guns on it, and we'll just I don't even need to rent uh, uh, the nose turret. I can actually just put a, a size three on the nose. Um, but yeah, and then obviously at the bottom there's showing in the reflection the uh, F7A Mark II. Um, which, yeah, it's got the military gear, but you, you can outfit the, the civilian version to almost as good. But if you do all the overdrive missions, which are still being put into the game, and I believe are ending in uh, May, and you can get involved with them, I believe, any time up until the end, um, you, if you complete all of them, uh, all the phases of that, then you get a free upgrade for the uh, civilian Mark II to the uh, military Mark II. And I think that's a, a cool little upgrade. It is encouraging you to buy a $175 ship, though. Something I say, get in game. But it is cool. I like it. The streamlined Hornet that is being marketed at the very least as being just better than the Mark 1. Streamlined, faster, stronger, more firepower. I'm not sure how it's going to, its armor is going to be um, change on how the balance between the two ships is going to change, but. Um, Thought it was cool. People enjoying the overdrive missions? 
I think they've just released the third part, which is the sort of fleet and uh, uh, group combat battles. So um, the third, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, mission three. Okay, yeah. So basically, uh, mission one was dead heists. Uh, mission two, sort of bounty hunting, kind of. And this is uh, larger fleet battles. I'm sort of turning up and taking out multiple ships. Um, but it's all, it's all cool stuff. Okay, people are enjoying it. Um, anything exciting in the roadmap round up uh, recently? Uh, unique item recovery got pushed. In the, this, uh, we can start this. And we don't have uh, Star Citizen Live this week, obviously, because of Easter. Uh, really like that letter from the chairman. I've got a video on it if you haven't seen it. But they talk about Star Citizen version 1. Um, they're literally working towards a minimum viable product, minimum, minimum viable product for a um, full Star Citizen race, or well, initial Star Citizen race out of Alpha and Beta. Uh, that is the Overdrive Initiative again. Uh, the Inside Star Citizen was about visors and HUDs and shopping um, and all that sort of jazz, and the cool loot screens. Uh, and the bomb before that was about the cargo elevators. And persistent hangers and habs that we're getting in 3.23. Um, yeah, 3.23, super exciting. Genuinely, uh, biggest and best patch we've ever had, I think. And then that will be true and potentially immediately get uh, dethroned by 4.0 because of stuff like um, server meshing and pyro and a ton of new content and sort of um, refinement to 3.23 and all the features there. But um, yeah, maybe even more complete chores. So 3.23, um, they want to release it to live in April. That's what they've said. Doesn't mean they will, but that's the plan. Since Squadron 42 isn't for sale right now, is it a good time to sell off those extra accounts that we made for the friend bonus stuff? Oh my god. Uh, potentially, if you've got stuff like that. I can't advise people on uh, selling the accounts and stuff like that because it's sort of not necessarily against terms of service, but it's grey market stuff and black market stuff and um, that's not stuff I'm confident enough to talk about, uh, really. And they exist. Um, some of these things are against terms of service. Some of these things are against terms of service in certain countries and not others. Um, like, I think, and do not quote me on this, because this is what I reckon, I think, like, you can sell your account in Europe and transfer ownership to someone else, but you might not be able to do that in other countries. Um, law operates differently, uh, but things like that. But... Um, Do you think that we, the additional testing environments between Epicardi and Live will avoid a repeat of 3.18? Yes. Um, so there's vigorous testing. The preview build and stuff like that help, helps hammer out those those things. Persistent entity streaming may have been the only time we have a 3.18 type um, collapse uh, of the game. It was like there was technically, and from what the devs were saying when I was chatting to them at a recent basis, and they were like, it was... It was so important to get it in then, and we were really happy with it actually working. It just broke everyone's experience that wanted to play it. Um, but it was pushing a load of data. It was doing what it was supposed to be doing. We just needed to actually get it playable for players. I was like, okay, cool. And obviously, that's allowed them to now get server meshing and stuff like that into a state where we're going to see it later this year. Um, but uh, do I think we're going to see a terrible problem with server meshing when it's implemented? Probably not. Like, they've been vigorously testing it. Swarms of stambading boreal stalkers. I think they might be sort of um, relatively uh, isolated, terrifying experiences. Do you think creatures will attack bases once they're implemented? I hope so. I hope that's part of it. That's exciting, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping we get the Polaris later this year. I'm hoping we'll see it at the Interactive Aerospace Expo. Uh, I think there's going to be a load of ships that go on sale with the Fleet Week in May. Um, and obviously, Xeno Threat, probably sometime, I would expect, straight after, or pretty soon after um, Fleet Week. Um, could run both at the same time. Is that a good idea? Maybe that's a good idea. Because there's loads of people in the game that are going to be trying it for the first time. Maybe you want to run two events like that. A CIG crazy enough to do it? Maybe. 
yeah, super excited for 3.23. I'm going to dash off in a second because what I'm going to do is get a video out and then check on Zin. When I say check on Zin, I'm just going to go check on, uh, drop her a text or if she's been responding in the Discord. Um, and then I'm also going to make sure my game glass link works. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to find who else is around. So bear with me one second. Uh, find someone else that I'm going to send you over to. Uh, who is actually online? Uh, boop. Uh, I'll send you over to Super Mac Brothers because he's a beautiful boy. Uh, he does very similar content to myself. You know, Matt, I've been doing it longer, so you know, the important thing, right? Uh, Flash. Flash raid. Oop. Yeah, so that's raid. Super my brother. Cool. And then I go over to channel. Oop. Oop. Cool. That's all good. Uh, give him some love. I love the boy. He's a good chap. Thank you very much for, for watching. And if you want to go and watch someone else uh, stream or chat or whatever, you can go and watch Super Mac Brother there, if you so wish. Um, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully 3.23 released in April. That's the plan. To live. Um, so that means first wave PTU pretty soon. Um, I was expecting it this week, but eventually next week. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the money. Uh, I will give uh, everyone's I'll just say that everyone on the stream said they wish you a quick recovery to Zin. Zin has appendicitis. Um, my editor is away. It makes me sad. Well, I say that. She was on holiday anyway. Why waste your holiday on appendicitis, right? <laughs> Madness. Thanks for watching. Have a great uh, weekend. And 